day from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. This is Madden NFL 21 on EA Sports. Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys taking on Daniel Jones and the New York Giants. Just a gorgeous fall afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction of the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with the New York Giants. one and we are underway from AT&T Stadium and out a little across the 25 to the 27 time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work Prescott of course the former fourth round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State you hear so many discussions about Dak Prescott is he one of the top quarterbacks in the league is he still ascending what does he need to do to get there all I know is that when he's in control of the Dallas offense, they were number one in the league last year in terms of yards per play, and he was second in the league in passing yards with over 4,900. This guy gets it done, and his team really likes him as their leader. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. On second and nine, Prescott connects here with a tight end, Blake Jarwin. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A gain there of 21 yards. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. A first down carry by Allian. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Draw play, Elliott. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. They call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Brings up third and five. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. Here's Prescott, and they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Dexter Lawrence with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. 
It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd. They feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Back deep, Golden Tate. This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. First go on offense for the Giants under the guidance of Daniel Jones, the former Duke Blue Devil. A little bit of broken record time, partner, because we know that this young man, Daniel Jones, was a surprise pick at number six overall. But I thought that he got better and better as the year went on in his rookie year. A lot of trial by fire. Needs to protect the football better while in the pocket. But when he's at his best, he can throw it and run it. And he's an ascending quarterback. 24 touchdown passes as a rookie. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. This is Barkley. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And down right around the 37. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I don't mean to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Someone's looking fresh, and his own line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst, nice gain, too. Here's second and two now from the three. A handoff to Barkley, and this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. From the gun, Jones. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up Ford. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Now Jones. This is caught. 
He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Able to convert on fourth to bring up first and goal. That's a big three yards right there. First and goal at the one. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he's going to bull his way into the end zone for a Giants touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Giants are going to take a first quarter lead. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. The Dallas Cowboys retake possession here, and this is a team and a head coach and Mike McCarthy. It's got some questions to answer after the one and three start. Week four losing again, this time to Cleveland, 49 to 38. Now the offense looks pretty good. Dak Prescott looking really good. Another monster game, 502 yards passing, four touchdown passes. He's now the first quarterback ever to top 450 yards in three straight games and the most passing yards in any three-game span in NFL history. So that's the good, Charles the bad though that defense is struggling to put it mildly they've given up 39 38 and 49 points in a row so Dak despite all of these numbers games of 450 472 and as you mentioned 502 yards passing one and two in that stretch that doesn't even sound right they've got to get some more balance back running the football and take care of some of those yards take some of those yards off of Dak Prescott's plate but this defense as you mentioned not just giving up the points but 307 rushing yards to the Browns, who lost their lead runner, Nick Chubb, early. That's the most they've given up in franchise history. They've got to get things fixed, and they've got to get them fixed fast. They're going to try to do it at home. The Giants come into town, followed by Arizona. They've got to have those two wins. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And his throw is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first, thanks to a flashy little spin move. And they have the first down with that gain of four yards. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 
They keep on the ground with Elliott. Watch quick. Watch quick. A gain of three, second down. It's well, from an offensive three. perspective, that was a tough up run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over line. to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. On second down now, it's Elliott. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Got an open man, the tight end, Jarwin. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Comes the Cowboys punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. Thirty-seven yards on the punt with no return, and the Giants' drive will start from deep in their territory for the first and ten. Saquon Barkley and the Giants' offense set to kick off their next drive. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. And that'll bring up second down. And with that, we want to remind you, it takes all of us to fight cancer. That's why the NFL and the American Cancer Society teamed up to create Crucial Catch. They've been working together for over a decade, and you can join the fight. Get screened today. Visit NFL.com slash Crucial Catch. And that, Charles, obviously a very worthy endeavor. No doubt about it. Everybody that I know, probably everyone you know, affected in some way or some form, Everyone wants to support this cause. Jones now going to throw again. Looking for Shepard deep. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Throwing Jones. Looking for his receiver. Sharp and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Oh boy. Third down, passing down. They throw the extra defensive back in there for a nickel package, and it worked out. And it's not anything that you would think is just great strategy. It's just that when you have five defensive backs on the field and an obvious passing down, it's a lot tougher to complete a pass. And on that play, they completed it just to the wrong team, and it cost them six points. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Well, out comes the Giants offense. Unfortunately, the 0-4 New York Giants offense. Another loss to start 2020 in week four. This one came at the hands of the Rams, 17-9. So they were very competitive, but ultimately never found the end zone. Just three field goals. And Joe Judge still looking for that first win. Now he's going to have to find some offense, Charles. Daniel Jones is quarterback. Two touchdowns, seven turnovers so far this season. They keep trying to fix the offensive line. That hasn't gelled yet. The loss of Saquon Barkley earlier this season in a game at Chicago, that, that, that crushes your running game. Daniel Jones, their prize quarterback in his second year, seven turnovers so far this season, only two touchdowns. So the Giants, no touchdowns, second straight game. Point total in their first four games, 16, 13, 9, and 9. Not even 12 points a game. But let's face it, they're in the NFC East. If somehow they could put together a hot streak, which would be, what, two in a row? They might be in the top, of, the top of their division. Three division. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Defensive end Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. From the gun. Jones. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Jalen Smith in there to drop him. It sacks on first and second downs. Now leads to a third and long. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Looking to throw, Jones, and the pressure gets to him again. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Riley Dixon on Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And taken at the 46. 35 yards that time on the punt. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. Amari Cooper and the Cowboys set to take over once again. anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. That's on the Pro Bowl guard from Notre Dame, Zach Martin. Still second down. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Press 
Scott from the gun. And this is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Ezekiel Elliott, and it's third down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Again to Elliott, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on here to punt it away. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Now here comes Daniel Jones and the Giants again. And what would you say? Is it the offensive line that has caused a lot of this pressure to get back there? That's always the first place that you have to look to see what's going on. But part of it is it is so difficult to simulate this type of pass rush in practice because the speed, the ferocity, the quickness, some of the change-ups and in, in, in how they get at the quarterback that you may not have seen on film. All that is different. You can practice it as much as you want to. You can even insert smaller, faster guys at positions to show that the speed's going to be quicker. But until the whistle blows and you play for real, it's just not the same. And not as easy to implement on game day. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll make it second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Now Jones throwing on first down. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. They'll get 13 yards for the second play in a row. 13 yards. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver. And now it's second down. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. Here's Jones to throw again and that is incomplete so 17 seconds now on the clock here this defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry it seems to be the front and the back in pass rush they've been able to get home and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well i love how you put it together the front and back working in sync only way to play good defense jones on third down Got a man, Slayton. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. First down, Giants.
Jones now on first and 10. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. Jones pass intended for Evan Ingram. Incomplete. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again, Jones. And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. And the Cowboys have recovered. The 40. Pass the 20. 10. And he brings it back. Can you believe it? An offensive disaster on the final play of the first half. They just had to hold on to the ball. So that is now two fumble return touchdowns. And you're talking about something that's going to drive a head coach crazy. Without a doubt. But for the defensive guys, once you do it once, you create a frenzy. Everybody wants to get involved, and they got it done a second time. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a fine first half from Dak Prescott. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. set to get the football and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half and that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. at their own 20 yard line the new york set to take the field they're down here but very much in this game what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Second half begins with a run from Barkley, and he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. They'll run it again with Barkley. Some fancy footwork, but not much room to operate. Just up past the 25 and no further. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. But when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. From the gun on third down, Jones. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 17 yards and a giant first down. 17 yards. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant.
Now Jones on first down. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. Operating from the gun, Jones. Catch made by Slayton. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Here's a give to Barkley. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys' 25. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Jones throwing on first down. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. The results for them so far, not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet. You're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice, and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. From the 22, here's second and eight. They go to Elliott again. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. The tackle two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. This to Jarwin. A big seam, and he might go all the way. Touchdown, Cowboys! Blake Jarwin, 76 yards. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. for the PAT. A 
It's good, and it is now 21-7. So the drive there, they went 80 yards in three plays, and it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. Touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 right at the 30. And he'll throw right away. Out to the right here to Shepard. Seven yards to pick up there. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. At the 36-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. Well, they tried to get him into space, coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. That's a nice catch, but unable to stay in bounds. And remember, it wasn't a wide receiver who works on that all the time. I was going to say, he, he likes to get the ball handed to him. Now, don't get me wrong, he's part of the passing game as well, but maybe a little out of his comfort zone there. Yeah, he might want to have a few words to say to us about that later. But I am still going with you on that one. Wide receivers work out a little bit more. Jones from the gun on third down. That's complete left side to Shepard. Jones and Shepard with a connection there for a Giants first down. First down. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. First down carry for Barkley. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Just shy of midfield. Jones. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 34-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun. Jones gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. 
brings up he's got good size we know he's tough to bring down running the ball that also carries over to the passing game like we saw there and at his size how'd you like to try and stop him on that angle route him coming out of the backfield breaking sharply catching the football it's going to take a lot more than one guy, most likely, to bring him down. That was a nice game. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Jones now on first and 10. Smith catches left side. Jones Five now. yards on the catch there, brings up second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. It's Barkley on the counter. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. The 4-3 defense there did its job, funneled things right to the middle linebacker. If they do a nice job of playing team defense, everyone takes care of their responsibilities. That allows that guy in the middle to do his job, which is search and destroy. The Giants on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and four. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call, first and 10. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. This is Penny, and he takes it into the end zone for a giant TD. Elijah Penny taking it in. And the Giants have got it back to a one-score game. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Gano for the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. 
And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. So that one will be accepted. Still first down. Prescott. Oh, Prescott stripped. And who's got it? The Giants. Oh, Shane Zimenez. Daniel. But that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a play, we give our team we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. On the draw, this is Barkley. And they get to him quickly here as he stops right around the 13. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. So they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Second and seven, Jones. This will be caught at about the six. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Third down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. And he finds Shepard. Touchdown, Giants. Complete to number 87. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the posts, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. Graham Gano, a couple of teams five. locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Please take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. I don't think you got it, 
Prescott. Now right completes it to Jarwin. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. That catch good for only a couple. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. Now Prescott. He'll find the rookie from Oklahoma, C.D. Lamb. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. A gain of 13, it's a first down. C.D. Lamb was my favorite receiver in this year's draft, and it's still hard for me to believe that he lasted till the 17th pick of the first round. No one took him before that, and Dallas, surprisingly, finds him available, takes him, and you see why. Great hands, great route running. This guy is Mr. Excitement. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. Seven yards on the play, and it'll be a second down. Very sharp here to start this drive, three for three. Yeah, I like the way he's running this two-minute drill. Very sharp, very precise in throwing the football. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. Prescott to throw. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. The give is to Elliott. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Again, it's Elliott. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. First down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. This is Elliott. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Face mask. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. A handoff left, Elliott. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. One man in the backfield, that's Elliott on second and goal. 
They get it to him running left. And that's a touchdown as they broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. I don't know how many more of these my heart can take, my man. I just don't know. Another big touchdown late in the game. They look like they're in control, but still, there's a chance. Block the extra point, go down and score, kick the extra point themselves. They can pull this one out. Yeah, but also on the sideline that just took the lead, you got to get your defense ready and the special teams unit for the kickoff coming up. Yeah, you're exactly right. Got to pull everyone together and make sure they're still focused and aren't already celebrating a win. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. It's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off by the late touchdown. It's a seven-point lead here in the final minute of the game. just outside the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and making an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short in the end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. Second and 10 now from the 27. He'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Golden Tate, incomplete. It's third down and 10 yards to go. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete, so their final drive comes up empty, and with that, the ball game is over. So going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You were wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington. <laughs>